Got my new toys. Got my new shoes, as they call it. Uh, we went with the BF Goodrich All Terrain TA KO2s, which means next week the KO3s will be out. But uh, we went with the 285 75 16s. Uh, I don't have a problem with those rims. Uh, 17s would have been nicer, but I wasn't going to spend the money. Hold on. Basically, <clears throat> there's a website called uh, tiresize.com. If you go there, you can punch in tires to compare. Uh, but basically, a 285 75 16 the diameter and width external dimensions are the exact same as a 285 70 17 so uh and that's what i would have probably gotten if i had 17s so these will actually air, air down a little bit more they say not that i'm going to be doing that i hope anyways uh for what it's worth let's see here come around to the other side I already had the body mount chop done. Uh, so you can see right here that's the fresh paint uh, and the mud flap was just trimmed right there to block that off and nothing's been done to fill that up yet but I'm gonna come up with something uh, but without it, without the body mount chop, the tire would hit, no lift, uh, would be hitting that and rubbing on that rubber and the body mount. Uh, so yeah, that would have been unacceptable. But now, the good news is, I don't need a lift. I'm probably gonna want a lift, but I got pretty damn good clearance here. Uh, and I got some decent tires now and I can air down uh, one of the things that really gripes me is that you get a 3 inch lift and then you gotta drop your differential an inch so you're doing all that work for a 2 inch lift basically and more looks uh, making it even more top heavy so I'm gonna run with this for a while uh, and see how I like the way it's driving I had bought some spacers, some 1.25 spider tracks that I was thinking about putting on here. And without a lift, they'll rub on the back, they'll rub on the front, they'll rub everywhere. Uh, so I'm, I've already sent them back, or I've got the box in here. I'm going to send back now. So, uh, anyways, 